In this video, we will look at a few examples that will let us practice working with perpendicular bisectors. In example A, it says, find x and the length of each segment. In this picture, the line wx is a perpendicular bisector of the segment zw, and you can tell that for two reasons. It has a right angle, so that means it's perpendicular to zw, and it also has split ZW in half because this segment is congruent to this segment. So that means that W is the same distance away from Z as it is from Y. So WY is congruent to WZ. That means 2X plus 11 must equal 4X minus 5. And since we know that, we can solve for X. First, let's add 5 to both sides, and we end up with 2x plus 16 equals 4x, and then minus 2x from both sides, and we get 16 equals 2x, therefore x equals 8. If x equals 8, we can plug in that information to figure out how long wz and also wy is. Because x is 8, that means 2x plus 11 is actually 2 times 8 plus 11, which is 16 plus 11, or 27. So wz is 27, and similarly wy is 27 because they have to be congruent. Okay, let's go to example B. In example B, it says, line OQ is the perpendicular bisector of MP. And in the picture, it's already marked that OQ is perpendicular to MP, but it isn't marked that MO has to be congruent to OP. Well, let's look at the questions. A, which segments are equal? So we already actually talked about one of them, MO, is congruent to OP. Similarly, MQ is congruent to QP. And the reason for that is that Q is a point on the perpendicular bisector, which means that it has to be equidistant from P and from M. So MQ has to be the same length as QP. The next question says find X. Well, using what we just talked about, we can do that. Because these two segments are congruent, we can set up an equation. 11 must equal 4x plus 3. Now we can solve that for x. So minus 3, and you get 8 equals 4x, which means x equals 2. So that's our second answer. The third question is, is L on OQ? How do you know? So let's look up at L. So far we haven't looked at this part of the picture. What I notice is that ML is 15 and LP is also 15. So these two segments are also a pair of segments that are equal. Because those two segments are equal, it means that L must fall on the perpendicular bisector of MP because it is equidistant from M and from P. Therefore, L must be on the perpendicular bisector OQ. So the reason, or the answer is yes, and the reason is because it is equidistant from M and from P.